Welcome to Table Talk Reviews. In this video, I'll be reviewing and teaching you how to play Loose Caboose, a game for two to four players designed by Nigel DeWitt, published by GameRight, and this is their re-implementation of Rollicade. In this game, you'll be building train tracks using cards and moving a caboose by rolling dice, hopefully not derailing it off the tracks, or you'll score penalty points, which are not good as the player with the least amount of points wins this game. Let me show you how to play, and then I'll tell you what I thought. To set up the game, remove cards based on the player count. For four players, remove seven cards. For three players, remove 11 cards. And for two players, remove 13 cards. Return these cards to the box without looking. Draw three cards to build the starting track one at a time, connecting them per normal connection rules, which will be explained. Place the caboose on the center card. For this video, I will place it on its side. Deal each player two cards, and you're ready to begin the game. To start your turn, draw a card. Then you have the choice to either play one or more cards of the same value, roll dice and advance the caboose, or you can choose to pass your turn. To play cards, you must choose cards of the same value. So here I can choose two and play both of these two or one of the twos, or I can just play this three if I wanted to. When playing cards, you must play them to the front of the track and the tracks must connect. You can't overlap cards. For example, you can't do stuff like this. You can rotate things upside down if you like but you can never loop the track back onto itself so that playing cards is impossible. Then you simply roll the dice and move the caboose for the number of wheel symbols you roll. Here I rolled two dice because I played cards of value two. To be clear, I rolled two dice not because I played two cards, but because the value of the cards was two. Had I played this three, even though it's just one card, I would roll three dice. So because I rolled one, I will advance the caboose one card. If you are ever moving off the track, you will take penalty points from the cards at the back of the track. I'll show you an example of that now. In this example, I only have threes and fours, so my best bet might be to play these threes, hoping to not derail. I now will roll three dice and I rolled three. So this caboose will advance two spaces. It needs to advance one more. However, there is no track. So I will take the card from the back and add it to my penalty pile. And these are points towards losing the game. If I needed to derail even more, if I had to move two more spaces, I would take two additional cards. You add penalty cards from the back of the track one at a time because if you add a card and the existing card on the top of your penalty pile is the same number, they cancel out and these cards are discarded from the game. In the event the caboose is on the last available card and you still need to take penalty cards, draw track cards from the deck instead. To pass your turn, simply advance the caboose one space and take a penalty card from the back of the track. If the caboose is already on the last card of the track, simply take your penalty card from the back of the track. You can choose to pass if you cannot play any of your cards or if you just don't want to risk playing any of your cards. If the caboose is ever moved onto or through a broken track, a penalty card is taken from the back of the track but instead of adding it to the top of your pile, it is added face down. Here, I rolled two wheels, so the caboose will advance two spaces over the broken track, so this penalty card is played face down underneath my penalty pile. It does not cancel any cards. It can never be canceled. You will score that card no matter what at the end of the game. The end of the game is triggered when any player draws the last card in the deck. They will finish their turn playing their cards 
rolling the dice, and advancing the caboose, taking penalty points if they would. Any cards remaining in players' hands are then added to their penalty pile without canceling. Here I have a four. This will not cancel the four on top of my penalty pile. Then players total up all their points, being sure to add in any penalties taken from broken tracks, and the player with the least amount of points wins the game. Okay, so loose caboose. Honestly, I thought this game was just gonna be a better kid game than some of the not so great ones I had played with my niece and nephews in the past, but it really surprised me. I really enjoyed this game. I played it with adults as well, and it is just a silly, fun, good time. You can get strategic about it because of that element of being able to cancel out your points, and get really competitive trying to derail at the right time to cancel out points or just play it safe and try to never collect points in the first place. Kids are probably going to be more laissez-faire just adding cards that they can, rolling dice, hoping to not get unlucky but taking penalties when they do. The great thing about it for kids is that it is equal parts card game and dice game so if you're playing with multiple kids some of whom want to play a card game, some who want to play a dice game. You can compromise, play together, and everyone will have a good time. I really enjoy taking this one out to restaurants because it's just a quick filler. You can roll the dice in the lid and finish a game before your meal comes out. If you're looking for just a silly fun good time, but also a slightly competitive and strategic game, this one is great for younger children as well as playing with adults, so check it out. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel for more board game videos to come.